challenge. Challenge. Okay, how many drinks did you have so far? Let's go. <laughs> That's a crack. Welcome, welcome, beautiful people, to a new episode here from Clan and Mado. We are still in and around Wellington, and today we're gonna explore Low Hut. It, it is on the suburbs of uh, Wellington, but supposedly it's, it's the sixth most populated place here in New Zealand, with around 115,000 people total. So, so we're gonna explore the area of Lower Huts and, and give you an insight, like yeah. we always do. And because it's so big, we're gonna explore it and give you an insight, and we'll check it out to see what's going on. Um, Given our first impression. First impression. Oh. <laughs> so guys we've been here in Lohat quite frequently because our Snap Fitness branch is here so we come here but like we never walk around so, so just walking up and down not sure if there's many shops open because it's afternoon time and yeah, it's, it's pretty reasonable time it's only three o'clock here in the day the weather is a bit dull today the sun is shining but you don't want it too hot so it's oh, the perfect temperature beautiful nature here with the mountains in the back it is a bit breezy windy but it's okay. Okay, maybe walk this way. I'm just walking down oh, one yeah. of the main main streets here on Lower Hut. This is where it's thriving with retail and some uh, supermarkets. We have the countdown over there. there yeah, the back. yeah, yeah. Do. Simply, yeah. simply Indians. There is a quite a few Indian. There's Indians. a lot of Indian restaurants around Indian here. Indian restaurants yeah, in I'm Lower Hut. Yeah. What's our objective today? Do we want to buy our something? Our objective? Yeah. To buy something? Not particular. We're not going to buy anything really, but. Oh, what's this? Japan, Japan merch. Oh, oh I want to go in there, Clint. Want to go inside? Guys, I want to go to Japan so bad. Maybe it's one of the next countries. Let's check out what they sell in this shop. I haven't seen a Japanese uh, supermarket yet in town, so super cool. So you got all your Japanese products here, straight from Japan. We love a good um, window shopping. Bit of window shopping. shopping. Yeah, yeah. I, I like these. Uh, they're so cute, aren't they? They're so adorable, Madeline. They're beautiful. Can't buy anything. We're traveling all the time. Oh, that's a leaf. Do you want a leaf? <laughs> the Japanese feel, guys. That is so cool. Even though I can't read most of it, but it's still pretty awesome. Do we need more garden clothes? Because, like, guys, we're not professional gardeners. We're doing From all the work we're doing on the side. Shows. And um, also the family we're staying with just came back from Japan so they brought a lot of Japanese goods back. They gave us a perspective on what type of stuff you can buy in Japan. Yeah. All the frozen Japanese food, we have lots of fish. I wow. didn't expect that though, that they have a really big Japanese supermarket here in Lower Hut. I haven't seen one of these back Half in Europe. Half of the things, I don't even know what it is. No, we can't read it. It's not in English, any of it. I don't need it's all these English. Ones. They're delicious. The koala. The latte. The little biscuits, I think. <laughs> like there's more car than people a lot of little towns are like that in new zealand as well there's mostly cars you don't see any people this is the cbd that's a queen's drive queen's drive i guess that's the main street this must be the main bus station here you can take a bus to the terminal so how are you feeling ken about this lower hut what am i feeling it does feel a bit more of a feel a bit more dodgy around here it does feel a bit more that it does have a dodgy vibe here in the CBD. I think it's a bit, to be honest. Through my uh, research, CBD is kind of known to have a bit of crime, but it's not too bad. It's still a great place to live, guys, especially I, on the outskirts. I don't know. I don't feel like very unsafe. I feel just a bit bored. It's a bit feel bored? <laughs> <laughs> I feel a bit Let's bored. Let's call it the ghost town. Okay, you get, um, you have like your bakery. bakery. It's Mr. Starbucks. Starbucks. Starbucks, the usual. Do we have a dairy? Yeah. You have so everything you need. Do, you have everything in but house. honestly, I I don't think it's a bad place to live. Right? People seem people seem oh, friendly boss? nice. People seem friendly nice. Everybody likes to say hello when you have a camera. And, there, and, and there's a person, a nice person there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, rundown restaurants and clothes shops in the town here. So it is what it is. Well, we're gonna explore either way. Oh, what's this? It's gonna be second hand store. That looks interesting. Are they closing? Are oh, they closing? Yeah, we. The thing is, New Zealand, everything goes close pretty early. They talk at midday, maybe three o'clock, compared to other places in the world. Like, most places would close at five or six, but here in New Zealand, especially in the smaller, outskirt towns, everything closes at three o'clock. Look at the ghost town. Literally a ghost town. On the side, we have a very interesting old, maybe, okay. a, bit, maybe a bit run down. Is it a car park? Oh, Plaza. yeah, it's a center. I think it's a supermarket, an old one. Ah, oh, can we go in there? Let's go in. I don't know. But where's, there's a lovely Let's supermarket here in town, a big mall. So yeah. we could check that out. Go, go, go. 
See, is this place open? I don't think it's open, my dog. Oh, it is open. Never mind. Oh, it's empty though. Wait, what the hell? This is a spooky. I mean, that shop's open, this but the rest. Spooky. This is scary. This is scary. Why is the place all so closed down? It's like, guys, it's Saturday. <laughs> and we have Saturday. the retail section completely shut down here in the mall. You have the whole place to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's very big though. Oh, there's a gym to the left. F45. Probably it's because there's a really big uh, shopping mall here. We're gonna check out in a second. It's maybe because all the shops move there and nobody wants to lease here anymore. Interesting. Oh yeah, there's a gym here. That's a gym there, yeah. F45 it's called. I think that's open though. It's just not open right now. It's probably open during the week. Guys, I hear my echo. Now I'm afraid that they lock us in. <laughs> I'm surprised you're allowed to even come back this far. Because there's one shop at the beginning. Spooky, what? Hi, hi. How are you guys today? Pretty good. Why are there no shops? It's all empty. Yeah. Serious? Is it because the big supermarket, the, the big mall yeah, opened? Yeah. Whoever enters the place, I was trying to get more shops in there. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, the hair plant or the massage or yeah. whatever that is, is yeah. new. Like, just opened up oh. like a week ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of a ghost, ghost mall. <laughs> yeah, lucky you have your shop in the front, yeah. so. Are you guys just here looking around? Or? I'm just yeah, looking around, yeah. Exploring the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're just like shocked that everything is like mm -hmm. dead. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It is very interesting. That's a good word to explain the situation. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See you. Oh, there you go. The landlord can't get anybody to rent the, the facilities here inside. Center Plaza. The so, Center City so Plaza. Here it is. Um, Ainsley Wear Ballroom Gear and stuff and clothes. This is the only shop in this shopping center that's still open. And probably the other places, the other shops um, just moved or closed down. So. Oh well. Things happen. Beautiful Indian chest. That is Indian. Traditional clothing, guys. They are open. They, that's a force. Okay, I think we should check out the big city. The big mall. I found another arcade. Queen's Arcade? Oh, another central hut. It smells nice in here, though. There's some more retail, guys. Nothing special going on here. It's another ghost town. <laughs> There's more shops than people. How is the businesses surviving around here? You really wonder. You really wonder how they survive. Okay. Yeah, we just got into an alleyway with some nice graffiti outside. Oh, um, that's cool. I like this. Is that a tui? A tui? I think it's a tui. Is that the bird? Look, look. Yeah, it's guys. I think you guys uh, in New Zealand love birds. I don't know what it is, but like everyone is obsessed with birds. And I think this is a tui, and they make this beautiful, beautiful sound. I and mean, it is a nice passion to have, though. Oh, it's a beautiful. It's a beautiful sound. I don't. It's just a dead end. Or I think we can make our way out down this way. No, we're a bit lost. That's the thing. We just go with the flow, explore the region, and see what this place is all about. Right, we're going back out onto the main street. The main Look, there it is, Queensgate Shopping Centre. The main attraction here in the... Uh, the uh, I truly Broadway. believe that as well. We have been inside as well and it is a beautiful place and we're going to walk around briefly because you don't want any security guards checking us out while we're, we're, while we're recording the, oh, the wait. area. Wait, first of all, it's a health store. Okay, you want to buy some health related pro products or something? You're always looking, that's the thing. You're always window shopping. Margaret Street. A very Irish typical name here. Margaret. That's a bit noisy, isn't it? Is that the Boyka gang? Yeah, maybe. The Boyka gang in town. <laughs> right, we're going off to the shopping centre now. So you have the security guard at the at the at the door, so we have to be a bit cautious about There's a lot of security. There's a lot of security around here. Pretty cautious, don't you? There you go. It actually is a very big um, mall. So it is quite huge. It doesn't look very big from the outside, but once you step inside, it is quite big. And and now and now I know where all these people are. They're inside the mall. <laughs> you want to shop around for the weekend? Oh, I went to the shop the other day, and it has like all this New Zealand 
New Zealand kind of crafts, handcrafts, creative artists, um, things, selling things, guys. I can't speak today. It's so busy that it's overwhelming, guys. Everything for all you need. There's even, guys, there's even an event cinema in the mall. You have some nice chairs you can chill out on. selling Christmas ornaments and it's so weird to me because it's summer it's full of chocolate there yeah it's an Irish Irish uh, coffee coffee franchise back in Ireland and they have it here in New Zealand delicious delicious chocolate so it is a, it is a really nice place to do your shopping though it is it has a lot of places to choose from that's probably my favorite place here in the West. another fascinating thing here is crocs everybody loves them they're not so popular in Europe, but they're very popular here. This is the IMAX cinema up there. Fire stairs to events cinema. And they actually have uh, indoor arcades. It's is so, so cool. I think I'm going to check it out quickly. If Madeline comes along, Madeline is going to do her window shopping while I explore this arcade upstairs. So this, uh, this mall was actually established in 1986. And it was refurbished in 2006, so it's pretty cool. So you have a, a cinema up here with a full-on arcade. It's just so, so cool. Great way to entertain the kids before heading into the cinema. So, there you go. These event cinemas are great, they're everywhere. So I think we lost Madeline. Look how big it is. Try them with shops. What do you think of them all anyway, madam? Good mall, good. They're good, very good. You know, I honestly think it's uh, the highlight of this Loa Hut tour. I think it's a great mall layout. They have a few coffee shops, they have a few nice shops. I think it's good. I think it's good, so are we gonna leave now and continue our walk around the streets? Because uh, Glenn has had enough. I have enough window shopping, guys. So guys, we're, we're actually in the eating area now in the mall. It's actually super, super big, the mall itself. It takes a long time to explore. So you have your place for great taste here with many different franchises of uh, takeaway foods. As you can see, it's a very clean, lovely location. Sorry, that was the food court. So I was trying to think of the name, I forgot. Food court. Food court. Food court, yeah. So guys, we're not gonna eat in here because we're not the biggest fan franchise food but this is basically a full tour of the mall oh we did a lap yeah. That's it. there's another sushi place of japan sushi sushi central every location you take here in new zealand all right back out under the sunny weather here in lower huts in the cbd Oi. oh the sun is even shining more yeah. compared to Oh yeah, what's going on here? Oh, Is that a party going on here? All the lads with the guitar and the... You have some beautiful jazz music here on the opposite side of the street. Oh, I think it's a, it's a stag. Stag's party in Lower Hutt? So, you sure that's a great place to start the stag's party? <laughs> stag's party in Lower Hutt guys. I'm excited what they do we? There's the guys they're there on the, going in their colourful... Should we talk to them? Checkered shirts. Guys, yeah, yeah. We should talk to them. Plenty. Let's see if we can catch them. All right, lads. Hey. What's going on here? How are you, boys? You well? Cheers. Well. Cheers, pal. Well. 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 Stags. 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 Sorry. Hey, he looks like a hen. Come on, man. He looks like a fairy. What's what's something we can do? What's the challenge? Give me. Yeah. What's, what's the, the challenge? You guys usually have. Well, are you celebrating a, a stags party? Yeah, yeah, Irish, yeah. Oh. In Lower Hutt. No, why did you choose Lower Hutt for a stags party? Hey, why not? It's just the start. This is where the debauchery begins. Excuse me, miss. Do you just be here talking here? Sorry? Let's be here talking. A bibbin. Hair tie. No, I don't. I don't oh. even have to. Do no. you hair tie? No. For you? No, you have no hair. Yeah. Hey, what was the van? <laughs> you can jump in if you want, mate. <laughs> Join the party, yeah? Come Where on. are you guys going? Come jump on. in, jump oh, in. I'm going back home. We need to yeah. cook some food. Where's home? Oh, uh, he's in. Yeah. We're staying in York's <laughs> Bay. We, we, we 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 I say you do. We're going all out tonight, I'd say. What's your tour? Where are you going? What's the tour anyway? Just back towards, towards the city. Back towards uh, it's like the 12 pubs of uh, Christmas, yeah? Yeah. 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 He's saying in Wellington? Eastbourne. Eastbourne. Oh, Eastbourne. Oh, nice. Oh. That's pretty. Yeah. How many push-ups can you do? 50. 
I'll have another push ups in a long time, but yeah. I can only do like 18. You want to do 50 push ups? Nah. Who wants to? When you have some alcohol and you can do more. 20. 20. Bradley, Bradley, out you get, out you get, out you get. <laughs> Who's getting married? Oh, we did. Sorry, we're taking it. I'm Brad. Congratulations, Bradley. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, Ronan. Claire. Claire. Ah, uh, close. Yeah. <laughs> uh, push up, push up. Come on, this way. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. I think you can do more when you have alcohol than all this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, push up for the stranger on the side of the street. And, and if he loses, though, you've got to drink. Me? Yeah, it does one to one. It's gonna be when I count him out, when I count him out. Ah, shit! Ow! Ow! Can we cut this for the push-ups? Glenn. Glenn. Yeah, Glenn! Can we cut this for the push-ups? No, you can't. No, you can't. So Glenn, you're used to the timbo as well. What? You're used to the timbo. So if you go slow as, they've got to follow you. Yeah, they So really, so we're going to count them out. How many drinks did you have so far? Eight? You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One. One. Two. Up. Three, up. four, five. You ready, lads? Six. He's going fast now. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, and he's like a personal ten. trainer or something. Yeah, he Eleven. Is. Yes. Oh, 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 perfect. Thirteen. Perfect. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Keep up, boys. Eighteen. Keep up. Keep up. Nineteen. Keep up. 20! Look at that perfect one. one. He's so mine. He's so behind. He's got to keep going. Come like on, you got to keep in. going. You ready, you got to keep going. He's going to hold up there for you. <laughs> Go on, Bradley. Come on, keep going. We need more. Pump it out. 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 Come on. Keep going, Bradley. Get a fucking virgin. He's a ass. Fuck it out. Sorry. Cut! Oh, oh, yeah, I well done. Well done, mate. That's Let's class. Try, mate. Here's a beer. Let's go. Hello there. I'll give you some energy for the next talk. Thank you very much. Look at that chest. I know, John. Fucking hell! Oh my God! Step to my missus. You too. Go. For me? Oh, yeah, you got to go. I need to drive, mate. You too. Yeah. It's only one. I'm here. Nah. Go, come on. Oh, no, okay, you can nominate someone to do it for you. He doesn't yeah. have his full license, no, you can't do it. Nominate someone to do it for you. Pick someone. One of the boys. Who had the most drinks so far? Me. Who needs to catch up? Oh, oh. Uh, there you go. Kellen. <laughs> the driver. Hold on. 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 Hold I am just not public. Oh, you're a oh sick man. God. You're a sick man. Oh, there we go. Oh, who, is the, who is the driver? He's the uh, driver. Oh my god. I feel bad for yeah. you. <laughs> I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be messy later. Take care, right? Enjoy yourself. Love the, love the short for us. Thank you. Thank you. See, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, here's I. No, here's I can see. No, I don't. Are you collecting hair ties? It's part of his challenge. He has to get a hair tie and a girl's phone number and a few other things. Oh, I think you have to go to the city center. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 man. That's what he yeah. actually. Yeah, he has to get a girl's it's number. It's, around it's, around a most, it's a most quiet place. Yeah, yeah. someone has to buy him a drink <laughs> and he has to get a hair tie. But you guys get... from Wellington? Uh, he is. Recording or not? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm from Wellington. Yeah. Are we, we going to be on a new show? Good deal, yeah. Boy, enough. Glenn didn't meet her. Glenn. Glenn! Yeah. How many push ups did you do? I don't know. I didn't uh, count. We lost count about, about 20. About 20. You, you did like a couple more than me. You, you did a lot more than 18 anyway. No, it was about 18. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you did, did well, I told you. Yeah. When there's alcohol involved, you do oh, more yeah. push ups. Yeah. No, you yeah. easily did. <laughs> Take care. Have a good one. Hey, yeah. Yahoo! Yeah. Alright, that was a bit random. <laughs> I had to get involved in that situation. That was that was so random and so funny at the same time. It's just a way to kind of spice up this video, to be honest, because <laughs> it is quite like a ghost town around here. So. I did not expect this, but this is what it is. You meet the most unexpected people all the time. <laughs> Guys, I think we come to the end of this uh, vlog. We hope you enjoyed our lower hut episode, and yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Bye. All the best. All the best. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.